Hello guys, I'm back with a new video. In this video, we'll learn how to create a message using a post request. So in the previous video, we understand about middlewares, how middlewares is a part of the request processing pipeline. So we will be utilizing that request passing thing and we will extract out the fields that will help us to create a new message. So for that, I have included a piece of middleware as you can see, which is app.use express.json. So let us start with the uh, handler for post request. So I will say app.post to a specific route messages. I will be creating the handler for this. And I will say this will take a request with server response. And then we need to tap these fields, which is the name, content, and the read property. Name, content, the read property. And this will come from request.body. This is because of the passing that we can do on the incoming request body that the client will send via a form or via some postman client that we will be doing and then what you need to do is you need to check whether the user has supplied the name or content property or not if the user does not provide us with the name or content we cannot create a message in that case we need to return a response or status code Oh, crap, response with a status code of 422 and we'll send JSON with a note. I will say name or content must exist. And if the user does supply us with the name and content, then we will try to create a new message out of it. So we'll say const new message and we will say this then we will set our id the id will be what messages dot length messages dot length plus one and then we need to set the name so this will be our request body name that we are extracting from the request body the incoming request body so we can say name colon name or by es6 we can simply say name then the content property and for read if the user does supply us with anything other than true or false, suppose he passes us the empty quote, for that we need to convert that to a boolean. So whatever he passes, we will convert that to boolean. If he passes undefined, that will also resolve to some boolean value because read will be set to undefined. Suppose if the read is undefined, boolean will make it to uh, false and then read will be set to false. So we can do this using this boolean constructor over the read property then once a new message is created simply push this message to the list of messages so i'll say messages dot push new message and now simply serve a response to the end user so i'll say response dot status with a status code of 200 and then i will say dot json and with a note i will say that the message is now successfully created So let us say the message with the ID and let us use template strings. And let us use template strings and then say new message dot ID is now created. Okay. So Next is we will send the current messages that we currently have. By year 6 we simply say messages. And lastly we will set, that's it, um, okay. So this is our property. We can also send the message that got created, the created message and I can say new message, okay. So let us try to make the request from our postman client. And before that we should run the server first. So, so in the messenger system, let us say node app.js and let us let our server run. So server is now running on port 1337. Let us check out this. 
localhost 1337 and here you will simply pass a uh, messages and will pass the request body so will not pass the id because it is getting auto incremented by the length of the messages that we have it will get increment by one the name will be set to say alex then we can set some content the i have to go to the gym i will see you tomorrow and then you can pass a read property which is a set to false okay so this should be json so let's convert this to double quotes my mistake and this will remain as it is and this is done now let us send the post request so our request body is now ready and sending the post request this is loading and our new message is now successfully created so we are sending the node successfully the message with the id 4 is now created and the list of messages that we currently are having okay so let us try to send uh, let us try to make a get request and get the list of all the messages so i'll send the request and i'm getting all the messages now okay now let us uh, check the if condition that we had uh, created so if i pass read property as undefined okay so should it work or not unexpected you so you cannot set undefined this will definitely work if a pass string so I th let us pass an empty code okay so to check this I'll pass this got successful now let us try to make a get request send the request and you can see the read is getting resolved to a false because I had maintained a check that if something is empty quotes or doesn't exist convert that to false if something exists we have passed a string resolve that to true okay so in the next video we will see how to create a delete request